Dry brushing has been around for centuries, but in more recent years, it has gained an immense amount of popularity, especially in Western countries all of a sudden. Dry brushing uses a soft bristle brush, either for the body or the face in a particular pattern. And although there is no major scientific research around dry brushing, there is a lot of anecdotal support that it can help improve exfoliation for the skin, it can help improve circulation, and it can also help improve lymphatic flow to help with the lymphatic system to decrease toxins and avoid illness. My name is Kelly and I'm a physical therapist and I specialize in lymphedema and the lymphatic system as well as in oncology. And I can tell you that if you want to improve lymphatic flow or lymphatic drainage, dry brushing and lymphatic drainage must be done in a particular sequence with a particular technique to be beneficial. Now I have created another video that was very popular on dry brushing that you can check out here, but I had a lot of questions to try to help break it down on how to do dry brushing if someone has a healthy lymphatic system versus if someone has a lymphatic dysfunction or something like lymphedema. And so in this video today, we're going to go through a full routine of the entire body of dry brushing for a healthy lymphatic system. Now you can follow along on this video step by step. However, if you want a handout printed out that you can use each day as you do your dry brushing, I have created a step by step handout with a diagram and pictures as well that you can find on my website at cancerrehabpt.com. I will also put a direct link for this handout in the description box below. And you can also subscribe while you're there and follow along with us on Instagram for more related content. But we'll get started. Now again, this routine is gonna be done for a healthy lymphatic system. So if someone has lymphedema or has some sort of lymphatic dysfunction, they will likely need to alter this sequence and they should be talking to their doctor or their certified lymphedema therapist for more guidance. So today in this video, we're gonna use a soft bristle brush with a long handle so it's easier to reach the back side when we get there. They also make ones that are just handheld to make it easier for close areas as well as they make small ones for the face area. I'm not gonna be going in depth on dry brushing for the face in this video, but I have created a couple other videos on dry brushing for the face showing that specific sequence and I'll link those up above that you can check out. We're gonna focus on the rest of the entire body. Now dry brushing is done directly on the skin and it's nice to do before someone bathes or showers to help rinse off any of the excess skin or exfoliation that occurs. And so what we always like to start with is the abdomen. There are a lot of deep lymph nodes in the abdomen that we want to stimulate. And so what we can do is do circles around the belly button area. And usually we'll do you know five to ten of them. But what I really like to do, not using the dry brush, is to do deep breathing. These lymph nodes are deep and doing dry brushing to the top layers of the skin isn't going to affect the deep ones significantly. And so what I like to add at the beginning of dry brushing is a couple deep breaths where we put our hand on our belly, take a deep breath, feeling your belly expand, and then gently putting pressure in as you let your breath go. And usually we'll do three to five of those to then again stimulate the deep lymph nodes first. But from there, we're gonna move on. So if you think about the lymphatic system, we know the lymphatic system is broken up. And so if you think about drawing a line down the middle of the body and then one across at the belly button area, that makes four sections or four quadrants. And so we wanna work in each quadrant separately. All of the lymph vessels in this upper right quadrant all go towards the lymph nodes in the armpit. Okay, all the lymph vessels on the left side all go to the left armpit, and then the leg separately and the lower abdomen go to the lymph nodes in the groin. A lot of videos talk about dry brushing, they talk about everything towards the heart. Yes, lymphatic fluid all ends up at the heart, but on top layer, on the superficial side, under the skin where the lymph vessels are, though that fluid goes to the lymph nodes in those four areas first, and then they go deep to the heart. And so really, if we're using the dry brush and we wanna make some sort of effect, we're really working on the top layers, and that's where we need to direct it. 
So what we're gonna do after we do the abdomen or the, the deep abdomen, we're gonna start with the lower body. And so we'll start in this upper area from the belly button and below and midline and over. What we're gonna do with the dry brush is we're gonna work everything downwards to that groin area. It's kind of where the sitting crease is. That's where the lymph nodes are. And so we're brushing again directly on the skin in that whole area, everything towards that region. You wanna be nice and gentle. You don't wanna scrub. It is just a light brush and it should still be with that soft bristle. So if anyone has any scratches or it's irritating, you need to get something softer or just use your hand and do the same thing. So after we've done the front, we can also work around the back. And so same thing, when we think about even the back side, there's a line down the middle and then across at the same level of the belly button, that's, that quadrant, that area, even into the glute area, all actually wraps around the body towards the front. And so what we still wanna do with this, we actually wanna brush and bring it around towards the front. So you'll be able to do this again directly on the skin, working all the way up and around towards the front. I like to do small strokes. It's kind of hard to do that on the clothes, but you're doing small strokes up and around. So after we've done a few strokes in each area from this lower area, lower quadrant, then we're gonna work down into the leg. So you can see, I am going to try to break up the leg into sections as well. So we're thinking about the thigh, we're thinking about the lower leg, and then we're thinking about the foot all separate. And so everything's gonna be working up towards the lymph nodes in the groin. The reason why I don't start with the foot and then work my way up is because if we're thinking about the lymphatic system, if this area up here is clogged and we start from the bottom, this is just gonna get backed up. And so we're gonna start with the top sections to clear first. So working in short strokes, working everything towards that groin area, up and around. Usually we'll do about three to four strokes over one section of the body and then work around. When we get to the back of the leg, that actually still also wraps around towards the front. So instead of just going straight up the back, we kind of want to bring this around. So when you brush, you're coming up and around. That's just how the lymphatic vessels run. Everything towards the front. So after you've done the whole section of the leg, the front, the sides, the back, a few strokes of each, bringing it everything around towards the front, we can do a little bit around the knee. And then we're gonna work in the lower leg, same thing, working on the sides and bringing upwards about three to five times, working on the front. And then the inside. And I'm going pretty quick just for time. You can stop and do a little bit more, or like I said, you can follow along with the hand out at your, on your own and up the back. And then after we've done the lower leg, then we're going to the foot and the toes, working upwards. And then after we've made our way all the way down, then we're gonna go in reverse and work our way back up. So then you would go to the lower leg next. You can spend some time there, three to five in each area. Making sure you're getting in the back. You can also get back behind the back of the knee if you like as well, around the knee. And then working back to the thigh. So spending some time there three to five times, and then as you get to the back, try to wrap around towards the front. And then after you've done the entire leg, and working all your way back up to the, the groin area, then we can do and move on to the next um, section of the next quadrant. So the same thing, think of a line down the middle and belly button. Everything in below that area towards your left side will go towards the lymph nodes in the left groin. So.
So that is the lower legs and lower abdomen. So now we're gonna work up into the upper. Okay, so I'm gonna keep with my handheld for now. Again, thinking about the line down the middle and the belly button and everything up and above is for this left side. And so what we're gonna do is start with the upper abdomen area and everything's gonna work towards the armpit. And so on the sides, we're actually working upwards And then right around up above the belly button, you're actually working upwards, kind of up and out. And I'm gonna just switch so it's not so loud on the microphone, but up and out. And then across in the middle of the chest, we're gonna work everything out towards the side. So out towards the armpit. Doing some strokes across the chest there. Everything in that direction. You're really going to about where the collarbone or the clavicle is and across. Now if we're working into the back, I'm gonna switch back to my long handle. Same thing from midline and around. It's actually wrapping around towards the front or towards the um, armpit area. And so if you can reach, you're actually starting in the back and you're working out towards the side. And then as you reach around, again, everything from that back side up towards the armpit from there. This is where it's nice to have the long handle, but it is, I know, still hard to reach. But in the big picture, everything is directed towards the armpit. And so then we're gonna go to the arm. I'm gonna switch back to the short one. And same thing or same concept as the leg. We don't wanna necessarily just start with the hand, even though it seems like it makes sense. If the lymphatic system's clogged, it's going to just get further clogged. And so we wanna start with the, uh, the closer to the heart or closer to the armpit, and so it can clear the area first. So starting with the upper arm first from the elbow up, brushing upwards towards the armpit. Making sure you're getting each area of the arm a few times. When it comes to the shoulder, you are gonna kind of up and around, up towards the front on the shoulder. And if it's in the back, you can probably either go straight to the armpit from the back or you can kind of come from the top and come down. But working that way too. And once you've done the upper arm, we can do a little bit on the inner elbow. There's a couple lymph nodes there and around the elbow. And the lower arm, same thing. I'm gonna work on the inside. Upwards, on the side, in the back of the arm, and the outside. About three to five on each. And after you've done the lower arm, then we're doing the hand and the fingers. And after we've made our way all the way down, then we're gonna reverse back up. So after the hand and fingers, we're gonna go back up to the lower arm. All areas, and after you've done three to five, around the elbow and the inner part of the elbow where the lymph nodes are. And then working your way in the upper arm. everything to the armpit and then around the shoulder again working up kind of back around towards the armpit that way or if you're coming from the back back and down and then we finish that and then we're gonna do the right side so same thing we're gonna start in the abdomen from midline and belly button and up everything working towards the armpit And so then we've done the entire body. What I like to do from there is just finish with the belly breaths. You can either use your dry brush and go back to the abdomen, or I personally am just a big fan of doing belly breaths with your hands. So hands on the belly, take a big breath, feel your belly expand. 
and then release. And finish doing that three to five times. Again, if you wanna see the head, neck, and face area, I will put a link for that up above that you can check out further. But that's a routine and sequence for dry brushing for lymphatic drainage that someone will do if they have a healthy lymphatic system. Again, if you want a handout that you can follow along with at home with instead of a video, you can check that out on my website. But otherwise, I hope you found this video helpful and we'll see you all next week. Thanks everyone.